Hello everybody. Today I would like to show how to model a diamond. Diamonds and the dimensions and angles and proportions are very well defined and I will ignore most of it but maybe point out one or the other thing. So let me start with a circle. I make it 16 sides and 2 by 2 millimeters like so 2 by 2 and center everything in the middle. Then I go to vertex mode, select two words here, then the up arrow key and now I hit the R key <coughs> and bring these in till this is slightly bent to this side. By the way, there are many different ways how to cut diamonds, but I read that over 80% are cut the way I will describe in this video. So, drop the tool. I do symmetry on the X. Let's see if it works. C key for edge slice. Then I cut through here. Yes, it works. Through here, through here, through here, and shift click cut through here. Drop the tool. Now this middle part here is called the table and it should be between 55 and 58 percent of the total width. So I make a second circle, eyeball this 55 percent like about so. Yes, make this 2.5 by 2.5 and center it in the middle. Drop the tool. Next I can uh, select this edge, hit the set key and pull it down a bit and this part is called the girdle. So I can delete this here then go to edge mode, select these edges here, these edges here, go to edge, bridge and bridge everything together. Symmetry is still on the X so I go to top view again and take the slice, the edge slice tool with the C key and start to slice up the diamond here, like so, and one more here. Drop the tool. Now we can deselect these edges, they are not needed. <clears throat> By the way, these quartz here are called uh, the kite facets and the small ones are called the star facets. These here and this one. This one is the table. Okay, now let's go to perspective mode. I select these edges in here. Shift tab and then go to the side view, W key, bring this up to about here, shift down arrow to uh, make and then bring this up till this area here is a completely straight line. Drop the tool. Now the top is done. Let's start with the bottom. I take this edge here and hit the set key again and bring this down to about here. Turn off symmetry. 
go to a vertex, join averaged, and go to the side view. Now this angle here should be 98.5 degrees on an ideally cut diamond. The reason is that most of the light which enters from the top should be reflected so it also leaves at the top. So this gives this typical diamond uh, sparkling. So let's see if we are a bit close. I take the protector tool but maybe to the side view and mm, not so bad. Like so. So we have to move this vertex up to about here, W key, like so. And now this is exactly right. We don't need this tool anymore. And now we can continue on the bottom. I will put symmetry on the X again, and then Shift-C and cut through here, about one third from the bottom. Drop the tool. Then I can go to the front view. Symmetry is on. And now cut in the lower girdle facets. Uh, all this lower part is called the pavilion. <coughs> and it's not just straight lines, it has also a structure in it which we put in now. So start here, cut one through here, then continue to here, go to perspective view, cut down to here, up to here, here, and we're done. Now we can remove all these edges in here. So edge mode, remove these, these here, these here, and these here. Drop the tool. There is one more thing. This here is not uh, a point. This is also flat and it's called the collet. Maybe I pronounced this the wrong way, but anyway, C-U-L-E-T is the way it is spelled. So I hit B key and bevel this in to make it flat. So now there is one thing which is not good. You see, even we are not in sub-D mode, modo, uh, does some smoothing, a little bit. And we want to have very crisp and sharp edges. So I select all the edges, go to Vertex Map, Edge Way Tool, and instead of the 20% which I usually take, I take 100. Click in the viewport, drop the tool, drop the selection, and now Shift tap, you see we have very nice, very hard edges. Let's go to the render tab and uh, A key to bring it in the view. And in the organic folder, there is a gemstones with a diamond material. So let's put this on and look how it comes to life. We can maybe uh, go to the layout tab, uh, environments, 
may be a studio environment, ATF. Unfortunately, when I hit the F8 key to bring uh, the preview render, uh, this was also the key which uh, paused my recording software, so I had to re-record it from this point on. So let's select the environment we did uh, last time and go to the render tab and render this out. It will take a while. I will pause the video here again. So here it is. And it's up to you now to make some nice jewelry with it. I think with all the tutorials I did so far, it should be possible to make a nice little ring. And uh, as usual, I will leave this picture on for a bit so I can use it as my thumbnail. Thanks for watching, take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.